Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lugnus Monster, and this is Ask Lugnus Monster, episode 65, the series on the channel where I answer you guys' questions from the comments down below. So if you guys do want them answered in next week's video, comment down below on this week's video, and I'll try my very best to answer it. We also started a new section on the channel last week called Customs, Collect Collections, and Recent Pickups. For you guys, actually, if you guys just want to send in your customs, collections, or recent pickups slash in-store finds, please send them to my Instagram. It'll be linked in the description or use the hashtag on Instagram when you post hashtag AskLugnusMonster and uh, I will try to feature it in a video. If you've already submitted some images for uh, customs, collections, and recent pickups and I don't get to it right away, don't worry, I haven't forgot about your stuff. It's just that I get so many sent in that I have to spread them out throughout a few different weeks. So I will probably feature your thing in the video. It might just be a few weeks from now. Anyway, real quick before you get into the first custom, if you are not subscribed, hit that sub button because we are actually giving away a custom Arc Trooper Echo. Not a custom, it is just a normal Arc Trooper Echo on the channel once we actually get 5k subs, which we are about 800 subscribers away from, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button right now because you do have to be subbed to the channel to enter. Anyway, onto the first custom. The first custom today is actually from Hunter and it is a 212th Arf Trooper and ATRT looking absolutely stunning. Man, this is really, really cool. It is in six inch scale, if you cannot tell, and I am just in love with this. It looks absolutely incredible. We can take uh, a figure off here and just look and admire how cool the ATRT is in itself. I really hope Hasbro decides to do a black series scale ATRT in the future because this guy just looks absolutely incredible. And we actually do have images of just the figure itself, and this guy still looks absolutely incredible, like I said. Please, Hasbro, give us an ARF Trooper. 212th would be amazing as well. But man, this just looks super, super cool. I'm sure that this custom took a long time to do. So yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Next one is actually a collection and some customs, all from A-T-K-K-B-Y, all like capital letters and periods. So sorry if I pronounce that a little weird, but um, first up he has like an Imperial display and this thing looks absolutely incredible. There are so many stormtroopers and it looks really, really good. He also does have some Imperial officers in the front there and I'm absolutely loving the Rodian officer because this is not a real figure. It is, uh, I guess, kind of a custom in quotation marks. Not really custom, but more of like, uh, he just kind of swapped around uh, body parts, but it still looks really, really cool and something that I might have to do because it looks incredible. Next up, he has a Pal Palpatine throne display, and this one also looks super cool as well. I have a small Palpatine throne display, but I think that the Imperial Royal Guards in the background absolutely elevate this a ton. Unfortunately, I don't have a Imperial Royal Guard to elevate mine, but yours does look incredible. Next up is this Tatooine display, and there is even more Stormtroopers mainly sand troopers this time but it does look absolutely incredible as well i really do hope i can get my display to look as good as this one day but yeah i absolutely love the stormtroopers like i said and the dewback is another super cool black series figure or i guess animal you could say that i just kind of slipped through my fingers and hadn't been able to get and i really do hope i can get one day but man it looks absolutely incredible in this one and then to go along with the tatooine display we have luke's lane speeder as well another Another vehicle that I'd love to get eventually. It has gone up recently in the aftermarket, unfortunately, but it still looks absolutely incredible and uh, one I'd like to pick up in the future. And then we have even more Stormtroopers. This one is actually two Scout Troopers and two speeder bikes looking super cool. I uh, unfortunately don't have a speeder bike like that. I did see the Scout Trooper and speeder bike in store once and I passed up on it and I do really regret not getting it but man it looks super cool in this and then he actually does have some more stormtroopers we actually do it looks like a custom darth vader over to the side here with a, a custom looks like a stormtrooper fordo as well flanked by two battlefront two shock troopers looking super cool and then if you guys actually did see my last Ask Lugnus Monster, you know I absolutely love ba Bounty Hunter displays. And this one is no exception. This Bounty Hunter display looks absolutely incredible. I love the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. And uh, him with all the other Bounty Hunters here really, really elevates it. And then of course, you got the Hoth display too looking super cool. That Wampa also looks absolutely amazing. I, like I said, don't have a Wampa. I do have the Tauntaun, which... Uh, 
which is really cool, but I uh, do wish I could get the Wampa for my Hoth display eventually as well. But man, that looks incredible. I also do love the uh, the Snow Troopers too. I, like I said, unfortunately I don't have any Snow Troopers. I uh, just missed out on the 40th anniversary version, but this display does look really, really cool. We also do have a Rebellion display. And the thing that stands out to the most to me here is actually the SDCC Han and Minoc set looking really, really freaking amazing. This is just the Bespin Han, but it does come with the little like respirator thing that he uses when he goes out into the um, the stomach of the worm, I guess you could say. And then also you do have the Minoc looking super cool as well. I know the Minoc is getting a re-release here pretty soon, but until then, this is the only way you can get the Minoc. And then last up, we actually do have the Jabba's Palace display looking incredible. I love Jabba's Palace displays. I'll say it every time I see one, this does look incredible. I do hope they release all these figures again by 2023 for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. But two things stand out in this photo. One is of course that Slave Leia. Super hard to find figure nowadays, but it is a super nice Black Series figure. Hopefully we do get an updated version maybe with the HasLab Rancor. But also looking at this, I can 100% see the STCC uh, table from the Obi-Wan Kenobi's hut set. And that just looks incredible. It does have the little Leia holog uh, hologram on it, looking super cool. And then another thing I noticed is the uh, Han and Carbonite and Boba Fett in the background as well. Now, I'm not saying that this is the SDCC set, but considering all the other SDCC sets he does have, I'm guessing that this is the San Diego Comic-Con, Boba Fett, and Han Solo and Carbonite 2-pack as well. Still looking super nice. We also have just a kind of a random assortment from figures, but man, Mando riding the custom Blurg is super, super cool. I do hope I can get some kind of Blurg in the future, whether if it's one from Hasbro or a custom one, because the Blurg is such a cool animal in the, in the Mandalorian, and I do hope they find some way to release it, because it does look really cool. So I cannot wait to see when you have that finally painted. And we do also have a few customs. First up is actually a battle damaged Darth Vader, and this guy looks incredible. When I first saw this, I immediately thought of the Force Unleashed and how Vader gets all battle damage in that game. That's immediately what I thought of, and I'm sure you probably thought the same thing just because of the Stormtrooper captain that was in the background of one of those uh, photos, but this guy looks incredible. Just absolutely amazing. And another custom here is actually a Stormtrooper Fordo, something that I've never really seen before. It's a super cool idea, and it looks really, really cool as well, I do have to say. I, uh, I'm digging it, and I do hope they eventually find a way to make Fordo Cannon. <laughs> Who knows if they will, but I'd love to see it. So that is actually gonna do it for customs collections and recent pickups for today. Like, If you did actually want to submit a photo for me to feature on the channel, DM me on Instagram or tag me in a post under the hashtag, hashtag AskLukeNessMonster. And yeah, on to the questions for today. American Warrior Luke asks, when do you think we'll get more of the Black Series Episode 1 figures in the Galaxy Box packaging to go along with Jar Jar? This is a great question, and honestly, I don't really know. Considering that most of these Episode 1 characters did just get re-releases in the 50th Anniversary Lucasfilm packaging, I find it hard to believe that they're going to get re-released in the Galaxy packaging anytime soon, so if I did have to guess, they would be brand new figures in The Phantom Menace. And uh, as of right now, I really have no clue how soon they would do any more Phantom Menace figures, only because they've done a surprisingly, like, big amount of Phantom Menace figures. So if I had to guess, maybe some of the next ones I could do is uh, some easy repaints, like a uh, security battle droid or a battle droid commander. You know, some easy battle droid repaints, or maybe even a droidica, which isn't a repaint, but it... it uh, first appeared in Phantom Menace and it's something that I know a lot of people have been asking for for quite a while. When could we get these though? I really have absolutely no clue. Commander Thorne asks, how do you display your figures? I have some floating shelves for my figures but I'm running out of room on my wall. I actually use some Ikea Detolf display cases to display my figures. They are the cheapest display case that I could find and they are easily um, I guess pr pretty easy to find considering that if you live by an Ikea, you can get them. They, they do have the ability to ship them from online, but I don't know how much I would trust getting a glass display case shipped. But uh, it does actually cost about $60 a display case, which is rather cheap compared to most display cases. And uh, I think it uh, it's a great way to display your figures. So I would highly suggest looking into it if you are running out of room. Jay Prasad asks, if you could revive any canceled TV show of your choosing, what would it be and why? Now, this one is super, super tough. 
my my brain goes to immediately the office because i'm a huge office fan but i don't think this one would be good revived unless they brought back michael scott and uh, i love michael scott but after season seven when he left the show just really really went downhill and it just wasn't near as enjoyable to watch anymore so if they did bring that one back it would have to be with michael scott and uh, I just don't think that would really work considering that the show ended very well with, you know, Jim going on to do his own And thing. Dwight going on to be manager. It just really wouldn't make sense to reboot the show. I'd love to see it, but not something I uh, could, I guess, see happening. But one that I would really, really like to see is Gravity Falls. And if you haven't seen the show at all, go watch it. It is on Disney+, Plus, but it is absolutely incredible. I did grow up watching the show. But they set up a season three so perfectly, and after season two, they kind of just stopped and there's just so much more story that could be told and it's just a really really amazing show i love the villain bill cypher was so freaking cool and then it was, i just love the show so much i can't really talk about it that much because i don't have enough time in this video to talk about it i can make four or five different 10 minute videos right now talking about it but if you do want to go check it out it's on disney plus super cool show and i do hope they would find a way to revive it somehow yeehaw asks Ask Luminous Monster, favorite Star Wars weapon excluding lightsaber. Now, this is tough because lightsaber is the obvious answer, but I... Oh, that's tough. I think I'm gonna have to go with the, like, Electro Staff, either from, like, the Magna Guard or the Purge Trooper. Just super cool weapon. It's, like, a metal, but it's strong enough to deflect lightsabers, but it's also, like, electrocuty. It's just really, really cool. So, probably, I guess, my favorite weapon besides a lightsaber. Bosk Ben asks, do you think that the new Black Series Phoenix Shane will be in the Book of Boba Fett packaging? We actually did get this figure leaked earlier this week. I will pin that video in the card. I just hit my mic. I'll pin that video in the card right now if you do want to check it out. But uh, yes, it is in the Book of Boba Fett packaging. It is freaking awesome. Cannot wait to get the deluxe Boba Fett in that packaging as well. Hunter asks, Arc Trooper or Clone Commando? Now this one is really, really tough for me as well. I think that Arc Troopers are absolutely amazing. I think Commandos are absolutely amazing too. But if you're looking at Soul Arc Troopers, Arc Trooper 5 wins every day in my book. But if you're looking at, I guess, like all of them as a group. So say you have Arc Trooper 5's Jesse and Echo in a group compared to Delta Squad. I gotta go with Delta Squad because Delta Squad is just just freaking awesome. I pl grew up playing Republic Commando. Love the game a ton. And uh, Boss is definitely one of my favorite clones from that as well. So I do love delta squad but if you're going by just single troopers alone arc trooper fives wins it any day no question but anyway guys that is going to do it for the video if you did enjoy it, the like button and subscribe for new to the channel and uh, if you did want to ask a question comment down below in this week's video and i'll try my very best to answer in next week's video and if you did want to submit any types of photos for the next week as well dm me on instagram the photo or post it in hashtag ask luke ness monster i'll see you guys in the next video